just been out here on the uh, the Gulf of Alaska watching boats come into dock into the pier and it's uh, it's difficult trying to imagine a more beautiful place than this oh, cruise ship in the background <laughs> but everywhere you look it's like this didn't film it because we'd like some part of this vacation to ourselves if you don't mind but we had a nice seafood dinner oh i was like what are you getting at it was right on the waterfront too you can see all the beautiful mountains and glaciers and the water and all the boats and in, in the background while you ate and enjoyed your seafood but we're making this video because this is wrapping up our vacation unless we do something crazy tomorrow before our flight which is at, we have to be at the airport at like three or 3.30 in the afternoon. We're basically uh, probably gonna do a little bit of shopping um, before our flight. Like I said, probably not anything too crazy. So this is, uh, this is the end of the, end of the trip video. Mm. It's been nice because a lot of vacations that you take, it kind of just flies by, but it feels like we were really able to like enjoy and expand our vacation because as you can see um, through the windows, it's uh, about 10 p.m. here, and um, it just doesn't get dark. So, you know, you, you don't have to cut your day short because, you know, you're running out of daylight because uh, you really don't here. Sunset today is 11.13 p.m. Sunrise is 4.49. So you got five hours of darkness, but it really doesn't get dark. I think I definitely have to add Alaska to the top three most beautiful states I've been in. Like right up there with, with Wyoming and Utah. You all know how much I love those two states. There's not much to say. I, we had this problem coming back from our cross country trips of thinking how to describe the, the, the experience. Yeah, and uh, it's just really, really hard to do. Uh, like this trip was only a week long guys and um, I don't know about you but it's comparable to the three week cross country trip that we did in 2022 like, that's how good of a time that we've had there's been there's never been a dull moment and um, there's never been dull sights like I mean when you think of Alaska like it's just that like obviously we haven't explored the 530 some odd thousand square miles of Alaska but the parts that we have explored roughly a thousand miles of Alaska um, it's just indescribable even though Alaska has one main highway route one all the way up to like Denali and everything and you're taking the same road so it was well, about four hours to Denali from Anchorage give or take but it's also not like the thruway or like 28 it's just incredible views the whole time like you don't get bored it keeps you engaged so you don't get like sleepy when you're driving or anything did you have a favorite thing like, thing we did or thing we saw place we went today's hike was really really nice yeah it wasn't bad it was like two miles we did exit glacier the views were obviously amazing um the hike was not extremely strenuous or anything but well, the thing that stands out most to me is probably the atv and side by side night that was amazing really yeah that's like your highest probably through 
like the Den Denali Mountains. My favorite thing was the mountains. Just seeing mountains all the time because I'm a mountain girl. So literally getting to wake up pretty much every day and see mountains. To this like extent, bucket list trip for sure that I didn't even know I needed to add. We've seen a lot of moose. We're up to like 10 or 11 moose. So before coming on this trip, we've lived in the Adirondacks for our entire lives never seen a moose so I've always joked around and said well then they don't exist they're just unicorns, they're unicorns. that people make up you know they really seen one okay <laughs> but uh, yeah we have basically seen them every single day I got to feed one we didn't really do research before coming here except for that we wanted to see Denali that's really the only thing we had on our list it's really really nice not having like a set in stone strict itinerary because you can just wake up and this is what we did basically every single day with the exception of like what she planned for my birthday. But like you can just wake up and just do whatever, explore, we, we stumble across things. And uh, that's the best part about it, man. You never know what you're gonna do that day. Just keep an open schedule and uh, take life as it comes at you. <laughs> What's going on over here? <laughs> yeah, I know where I go. Huh? <laughs> I put too much peanut butter on it. Come here. One of the best things about this vacation is having this van. It's been good. <laughs> it's been okay. It's been all right. <laughs> well, John will like, it's already said he liked, is as we were leaving Seward and after our dinner, we were discussing what we would want for our van when we get a van. Which is is a pretty significant statement because I've been like looking up vans and I've been looking on Marketplace and for, for quite a while now. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's like an everyday thing. I literally cannot get having a van off of my mind. And uh, every time I mention something about it, Kayla's like, yep, cool yeah maybe one day <laughs> yeah we'll see remember in the beginning I of this trip I mentioned there's a slight slight ulterior motive behind getting this van and that's to maybe push Kayla a little bit closer to wanting one so we haven't come as far as <laughs> what I was hoping but we've made some positive leeway made a little bit of ground and I'll take it. I will admit there there were a few times during this trip that I really wish I had my Jeep because the ground clearance on this van is like five inches. The running boards are very low. The, yeah, the van itself is low as it is, but there's running boards on top of that. So there were some places that I wanted to go, but I couldn't. And I was like, man, my Jeep would have came in real handy right now. But all in all, I would much rather have the van. Anyway, we've got two more big trips planned for this year. Um, stay tuned for the next one. Pray for us because we're taking our parents somewhere. Um, but you'll have to stay tuned to find out where. Yep, well, it's been an incredible experience. Uh, as always, like, thanks for coming along with us. And, um, you know, obviously we have like indescribable fun like living it i have a bunch of fun <coughs> editing these videos and basically reliving them and then um sharing the finished product with you and uh hopefully you enjoyed the you know our time together and the views and um thank you oh they have another dog What's wrong with the dog? Is she leaving him outside of the vehicle? We'll wait. <laughs>